Hello. Now that we have understood what the project is for Paint-tober, I need to now select one word that I want to select off the list. I have selected the word float. It is for day 28. And within that, I have four separate boxes that I am going to um, do some thumbnail sketches on to eventually figure out what I want to do for this word float since I have so many opportunities and possibilities. So when I think of the word float, kind of think of, um, first kind of thing I thought was a hot air balloon after I did a little bit of research. So with these thumbnail sketches, they're quick understandings of what you're going to be doing. So I'm going to have four different drawings, completely different drawings, and then I can eventually narrow it down and say like, oh, I think that's the one I want to do. And now that I've already practiced the drawing once, I feel comfortable moving on to the final version of my drawing which will eventually become my painting. Alright, so I've got my computer here next to me with some visual references, but when I think of float, I think of a hot air balloon. So I am just going to do a quick study and understanding of what's going on within the box of the four that I have selected, starting wherever. Um, I found this picture here. It's got it's kind of your typical hot air balloon. This is a practice drawing of it. It doesn't need to be perfect. It's just me understanding what's going on and me eventually realizing if that's what I want to do. So I got a smaller hot air balloon here in the distance. It is smaller because it's further away and that deals with perspective. Another hot air balloon here. It's got a cool little design on it. It looks like a lightning bolt. Okay, so that's all I'm really expecting. If I want to do, kind of throw in the clouds that I see as well. Just a quick, quick understanding and gesture drawing of what's going on. So here we have my first idea of what float would look like. Once again, it's not perfect. I'm not going for perfect. I'm just going for me understanding the drawing and deciding eventually if that's what I want to do. Okay, so there we have float um, with a hot air balloon. Now when I also think of float, I start to think of an astronaut floating in space. So here I found a visual reference of an astronaut in space with their spacesuit on. Once again, quick gesture drawing, breaking my astronaut into basic shapes. I have a circle here, a little rectangle there. Another rectangle for the body and torso. We've got the legs. Once again, this doesn't need to be a perfect drawing. It's just you kind of understanding what's going on. And then we have his arms. This arm overlaps that part of the body. We have his little jetpack thing in the back. Another arm coming off here. some details on there and finalize the space suit and the helmet <clears throat> okay so there would be my quick gesture and understanding of the space man okay so then also when I think of float, I think of kind of you float on water. Um, so I have found this image of a landscape with some little buoys in it. Now this one will go this way because it's landscape orientation. I've got a horizon line here of the water. I've got some mountain rock formations in the background here. Okay, then I've got some little buoys. They're getting bigger as they get closer to us. Once again, dealing with perspective. This one's got more detail because it's larger and closer to the viewer. You get some ripples in the water. Another buoy back here. Another one back there. Draw the idea of the water. There's no clouds in the sky in this picture. 
get some more rock like formation going. Okay, so now we have some buoys kind of chilling in the water. And then I found another picture of a hot air balloon that I like. I like the different angle and perspective of it. Now this one's a picture from underneath the hot air balloon, so I'll draw and recreate what's going on here. Okay, here's the hot air balloon. Pop in, cropping off the edge. Got the chain link kind of situation connecting all the contraptions of the hot air balloon. Never been on a hot air balloon. I would love to love to go on one. Been skydiving, but not quite yet on a hot air balloon. I've heard skydiving in New Zealand is like the best views. To be pretty cool, but I've already sky sky skydove. Is that a word? Skydove once, so I think uh, that's a one and done kind of situation because it was pretty scary. Jumping out of a perfectly fine airplane is quite the experience. Okay, and that should about do it. Okay, and then there's my final picture of the underside of the hot air balloon, and then there's a bunch of fire right here. So I would definitely draw that in as well. Okay, so now I've got four renditions of float. I can start to narrow it down of what I like the best. Since we're painting and the astronaut's white, I'm probably going to eliminate the astronaut because I want to do more color. Um, I like the buoys. Between the two high air balloons, I probably like the second one I drew better, so I'm going to narrow it down to those two. So I would say it's between this high air balloon kind of picture and my buoys chilling in the water. And once again, I'm a very color-minded person, so I'm probably going to eliminate the buoys because there's not a lot of color going on there. So I am going to end up painting my hot air balloon image from underneath. Now I'll go ahead and print that image out and use it as my reference. Once again, if you want to use multiple references, create your own things, that's perfectly fine. But I selected the word float, thought of a hot air balloon, find a really cool angle and picture for that. And now I feel comfortable moving on to my final version of my painting. All right, so enjoy what you're doing. Pick a word that really interests you and that you will have fun recreating in your own creative world.